How to make a paper theatre like in The Flaming Fox. In the following, I'll walk you through the four steps you need to make paper theatre illustrations for your picture book. You're going to need some sort of frame and some craft supplies. The first step is creating the background. We used some leaves we found outside and printed them on paper to create various backgrounds. You can see we used different leaves for different textures and created some darker and some lighter backgrounds depending on the scenes. In the second step we created some scenery. For example we created a bush, a tree and some flames, but that may be different for your story. Remember to add some stability to the back and some way to prop it up, for example a little bit of cardboard at the bottom or some wooden sticks. Step 3 was creating the characters. Our main character was the flaming fox, which we wanted to have from some different perspectives, so here's him looking straight ahead. And there's another one of him looking up. And another of him curled into a ball. Again, remember to add some cardboard or wood to the back so the characters can stand. In the last step, we put everything together. To do this, we arranged all our pieces in the frame and took a picture. You can see some of the results here, or you can read the full story on bilingual-picturebooks.org. That was how to make a paper theatre, I hope you enjoyed the video and we're excited to see your paper theatre illustrations and your picture books.